Alright guys, bonus video today as some more concept art has been released online for Alien Covenant and some of it seems to confirm just what the Mother Juggernaut was and what the hole was within the courtyard. So all of this concept art is from Wayne Haag who worked on the recent addition to the Alien franchise. The artwork itself is truly incredible. The main thing that amazes me these days is just the level of detail these pieces have and how sad it is that more often than not these great, incredible artists don't receive the recognition they truly deserve. That being said, one piece in particular shows the courtyard and the mother juggernaut rising from the ground. In the film, we see a flashback of David coming in on the Juggernaut to seemingly connect with this bizarre craft prior to dropping the payload on the civilization below. And it left many people wondering what the hell this is, where did it go and where did it come from? Although the concept art wasn't used in its entirety, it's highly likely this depicts just what the Mother Juggernaut is, a docking station for the Juggernaut ships the engineers have. The hole it is rising from appears to be a hold for these vessels, as in this piece of concept art we see the Covenant crew dropping a flare into the depths and it lights up at least two of these ships. We also get an incredible piece of the entrance to the Cathedral, or the Hall of Heads as it's become known. What fascinates me the most about this piece is the artwork on the wall to the right. You can see three figures carrying a body and on the door we see what looks like women robed and praying. Which adds to what we had heard of this place in interviews, that it was a place of great significance to the people of this planet. Not overly sure what to make of it as the novelization seems to confirm the engineers were on the planet, due to David discovering documents to the creation of the xenomorph and that the eggs were their experiment. But this seems to contradict the appearance to these people. I can appreciate 2000 years is a long time and they may have devolved or chose to live simpler lives, but it's one of those contradictions that doesn't seem to make sense. Also, why build your city in one place? The fact that these people chose to all reside around the docking station and build a building of high significance on its doorstep all point to these people being one of the engineer's creations. But I guess this discussion is for another video. So guys, drop your thoughts down below in the comments section on this particular concept art. A few days ago, I did another video on some recently released images of what Shaw could have looked like, and it seems we've got some more released from Evan Shippard as well. One shows what we could have seen Shaw to look like laying on the table, apparently skinned, with her head seemingly in a state of mutation. And we see another piece of her face very, very mutated, and the head crest quite reminiscent to what we see in some of the set photos as well. Again, I can't express how truly incredible this artwork is, and I just want to thank AVP Galaxy for compiling it. I'll leave a link down below, so if you want to go and check through it all, then you can. I'd be keen to hear your thoughts though. Do you think the Mother Juggernaut was likely coming from the ship's hold below? Would you have liked the Covenant crew to explore the city more? I said it before when they released the images for Empire Magazine, I really, really wanted them to explore that city. It seems so beautifully designed and detailed. It's such a shame we never got to see more of it or learn more of the civilization that lived there. But that being said, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And if you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support the channel, then please head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description box. I've been Mr. H and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.